Hey everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do the walkthrough for our February 8th, 9th, and 10th mid-century modern design auctions. About 1,600 lots over the three days, all biddable on our website, online only, live auctioneers, invaluable. And uh, you can bid direct on our website now, so you can just log in there and get an account. Uh, you can save a few percent if you bid and pay with a credit card on our website. So... 1600 items preview for this sale is going to be on monday february 7th but before i spend some time going up and down every aisle and looking at everything closely let me just do a long or a quick walkthrough of all the items you can see we have it stacked up we have this room full over here and uh walls full of art ceilings full of chandeliers let me continue on i'm going to quickly walk through the entire auction you can kind of do a uh, drive-by on all the items. You have Gio Ponte, you have George Nakashima for Whittacombe, Haywood Wakefield, Moeller Rosewood, Fritz Hansen, you have the Paul Frankel stuff coming up here. You have nice brass and glass, Milo Bauman, Barcelona, Rob John Gibbings, Eames, LTRs. You have Italian dogs and leather chairs and uh, wicker elephants. We continue on down here, some other nice wicker and rattan, bamboo. Continue down here. Stacks of chairs, wall units. There's Tim right there. He helps stack a lot of this stuff up. You have Versace style couches. I'm doing a quick pass through the whole auction okay. so we can see yeah, what their order the is. Order. Well, you can, and uh, going over this way. Eames, Bjorn Winblad, come around the corner here. You have the Kip Stewart for Drexel, Declaration, you have the plastic. You have this amazing Steve Donkey. You have uh, Japanese Tanzu. You have more Rob John Gibbings. You have Vazarelli style prints. Coming around this way, Springer style. You have some nice dog figures, sheep figures, lamps, abstract art, posters. Look at this great Burl bedroom set that came in late by Lane. You walk up around this way, give you the full tour all the way around. Walking down this aisle. Inlaid furniture, Sputnik lamps, crystal chandeliers, Herman Miller cage sofas. These are nice Nelson ball lamps by Howard Miller. You have the Hollywood sign, Kagan style chairs, bar stools. Let me come around through here. A lot of these small items straight ahead are in the catalog. Egg chairs, shelf lots towards the end of day three. All right, look at these good factice store display, perfume bottles. Look at this great section back here with the George Nelson for Herman Miller. Some good art, Lichtenstein, clock collections. All right, so that's about the size of the entire auction, 1,600 lots. It's going to take us a while to sell it all. But we start day number one over here with the lot number one. Lots of good rosewood by Moeller. Look at this amazing rosewood credenza. Came right out of a house in Delaware. Beautiful. And the condition on it is amazing. You can kind of see the sheen well taken care of. Here's the table from the same house, has the pull out leaves. Here are the chairs. There's a set of eight of these chairs and they're amazing. They're clean all the way around. Look at that. Nothing really to say negative about them at all. Let me come really close in on the back here. You can see that you just get the idea. They're all like that. All 
though, right? Continuing on, so a bunch of smalls. You have the copper where you have a good uh, brag. Bronze, good glass art. Lots of European and Italian glassware and pottery. You have Gambone. Lots of others, Bowman. These are amazing right here. These are from the Andy Warhol auction, which happened back in, uh, back before he died, I think. I think the tag is probably worth more than the slippers. Moving on this way, Travertine, we're up to lot 71. Have some good you know, sawtooth bills. This is the china cabinet that was in the house with that dining room set that we sold at the very beginning. Very nice with the um, kind of wood handles. Again, look how look how clean this is. It's like it is like perfect. Some nice dining room sets down here. Let me peek around this corner so you can see them. You have a George Nakashima down there at the end. You have a couple Mastercraft ones. You have the Roan one in the middle. You have the uh, chrome cocktail tables. You have these lamps right here. Some of them are design techniques and marts. Let's continue on. These are George Nakashima for Whittacombe. We're up to about lot 97. You have marble tables. You have this table right here. Not Nakashima, but very good quality. Look at the thickness of that slab on top. You back up a little bit so you can see it. Really nice kind of condition on it. You have some good rockers and armchairs across the back. Danish. The penguin chair. Carl Springer on the uh, kind of you know, that has the fabric coating. Barcelona. This chair is amazing right here. All the way around, and it is signed. What's it signed? Marjorelle. Right here in the back. Very nice. Great deco slash uh, nouveau style chair. You have some Ron Lee. You have Robert Indiana. Sarid. Mobiles. This is an Akari lamp by Noguchi, signed. Lucite, signature on that is Van Teel. Coming back this way, some good glassware. This is an amazing sculpture. It does have a couple chips across the bottom, but it's, uh, it's all great glass. Bjorn Winblad. Can't even see the forest with the trees sometimes. Look at that great unit that it's on. This is all kind of a knockdown rosewood unit. All right, moving up this way. We're up to about lot 250. You have the rose, the Rob John Gibbings, you have the LTR tables, you have this nice little cabinet right here, signed Lane, um, Dakota Jackson for Lane. Some nice tables across the front here. These are a nice pair of these uh, cabinets. You can't even really see them with the art that's in front of them. There's a pair of these that look like that. Travertine pedestals are doing well now. There's a pair of these. Let me turn this way and there's the other one. Back here you have kind of um, Milo Bauman swivel chairs. Nice little wood bases on them. Great chairs. Look at that nice mirror up top there. There's, here's uh, pieces that are getting some great interest from uh, the late 50s on these Eames LCW chairs, the living room chairs right there. You can see underneath the bottom, great uh, decal on it. Condition is amazing. The uh, five holes underneath is uh, indicative of its age. Here's one of the Gio Ponti pieces. You know what? the Gio Ponti stuff. That's in about lot 300. You have all this Gio Ponti right here, all come out of a house in, in New York, Long Island. You have the table. You have the table underneath it. Another marble top base table there. Cleanest set of macabre douches I've ever had. Very nice Paul Macabre. 
set of six of these dowel chairs, and they're all in this kind of condition right here. You can see they're, they're smooth and clean. This is an amazing kind of bury the leaves. Look at this great uh, finial settee. Look at the treasures everywhere. Look at the macabre coffee table over there. And that's super clean too. Macabre, right behind the TV. You have Calder. Andy Warhol. Satowski. Calder. Muir's. All right, now we're up to about lot 400, coming around here. I guess we're going backwards. In the 370s now. Lucite. You have this one right here, which is uh, John Van Court for Drexel. Come back this way. Look at this nice pair of nightstands. American Modern. Let me walk down this aisle. We never, almost never go down the tiny aisles. You have good uh, slat tables and tall chests and campaign chests, poof, stools, sets of chairs, some good credenza, or I should say pedestals. Look at this set of tables right here. You have the tables and the nice benches underneath. Now we are a little bit out of order here because I took that, that detour down that aisle because uh, that's in the 800s, that's actually day two. So we'll go back to day one, 386. This is back to day two in the 900s. Just do a quick walk around this way. Look at that great inlaid chest. You have the Arthur Court up top. Here's the uh, lamp or the fan table. We're in the 970s. You get the gist. Take a look at the second day if you want to see these items. Here's a nice pair of uh, tables here. They're actually not a pair, even though they're about the same size. This one has the uh, the metal facing this way and the other one has the metal facing that way. You probably never know, but they are a near pair. All right, this is also in the lot 1000s, which is the second day. The casino, you have the casino chair, casino um, stool and chairs underneath. And here's a great hooded wing chair in the 990s. All right, let me see where we went next. Okay, before I get too far out of order, I'm going to go back here into this room and see what's back here. Here's the lot 400. So this is the end of day one. So we have great tile top tables and Pearsall. And uh, in the back, you got Seager. That's World Global Imports. You have good burled tables with the glass tops. Look at this great brass base table. Uh, a pair of those. Just a set of three of these um, Hans Wegner style chairs. You have the E. Cornish chair in the back there. These are not travertine. They are laminate. Okay, let me come back this direction. Over here, you have some good rattan, some chrome and brass. You have a good uh, uh, industrial desk. Now the preview, as I said earlier, for this auction is on Monday the 7th, and you can come in and see the condition. We'll pull items down if you want to see the condition at the top. If you want to see uh, the other side of this wicker table, for instance, we'll pull it down and, and help you take a look at it. We realize that it's not the most conducive way to preview an auction, but at least you can preview. Uh, it's not just online only preview. There is in-person preview allowed. So. In our catalogs, we try to take pictures of damage and condition and everything, but it's still sold as is. Please ask about items. Please look at the items. If you can, come down and don't rely just on the pictures. All right, Tim, where does day two start? Lot number 600. Right in front of it. Keep going All right, day two starts over here in front of this podium with these... Uh, right here, it's hilarious. Yeah, this is, the num <laughs> this, is, this is item number one in day two. And then you got this area. So then you have all the... The Herman Miller, uh, George Nelson, and then the Yanagi stools. You have Mastercraft. Look at that nice um, kidney marble table underneath. Here's a great fish etching. Some good ball lamps. This is all the start of day number two, which is Wednesday, the 9th of February. 
All these items are up for bidding on our website, which is uniquesandantiques.com, and also on Live Auctioneers and Invaluable. There's the Batellos. Batellos, Batellos. Leather sofas, good art. So then we continue down there. We already did down there, so I'm not gonna go too far back down in that direction. All right, so now we're in the 800s over here. We're 200 lots in. We do about 40, 50 lots an hour at the most. So each auction, which is about 500 lots or so, is it gonna be a good 10 hour auction? So uh, make sure you budget your time for that. Lot number, so we're in lot number seven, 800 now. That direction right there is day three. So we'll continue on that. Now we're in lot 800. These cool stools right here, kind of time life-ish. They're definitely a bigger scale. Over here you have- Or you did the lobby before that area. Right, so we're a little bit out of order, but this is also still day two. You have the Turner, you have these great showcases right here with the uh, kind of individual compartments. Look at this great mosaic. Sometimes it's hard to tell the scale and how how nice the uh, quality is. Where's the other one? The other mosaic is over here. I'm gonna come in a little closer on that one. Look at that, it has a great frame. It's all signed up on the back with uh, labels, Italian and who it's of. Beauty and the Beast, this is an original Beauty and the Beast uh, art painted specifically for the movie. On the back it says Property of Buena Vista Pictures. It was probably at one of the premieres or maybe at an early showing of the movie. Ness and Lamp, these are all you know, earlier on day two. All right, so now where do we go from here? I think we go this direction. That Where's day three start? Day three starts in that room, does this wall, then finishes this wall, and then goes, finishes the room. So it kind of jumps a bit. All right, so now we're gonna go over to day three. We start day three over here at lot number 1200. And, and 1200 is wall. where Desk and everything. 1201 right here. Amazing uh, desk. Parsinger hurricane lamps. Van Teel lamps. Bauman style lacquer Burlwood coffee table. Look at the condition on this. Super shiny. A little bit faded, but super shiny. Great condition on it. Let me come down this direction. Now, look at the size of this one. This is why people watch the videos to see the items in scale. This is one of the largest ones we've ever had, the Braum Halls. There's the um, Sputnik lamp by Stilnovo. All these pottery, that's like Sid, Sid Carpenter. Look at these lucite. These were so hard to take a picture of. Everything was reflecting in them, so maybe I'll get a better in video. Lot number 1230, they are by uh, Bill Albertini. The plexiglass art right there. He's still, he's still seeing my reflection of my legs in it. They're very, very cool. They're all bolted together. In the back, you have the Gabriella Crespi. You have aluminum tables, Herman Miller cage. These are Howard Miller, George Nelson four. They have the original labels on top. These are oversized perfume bottles. Store display factice. You have Lalique in there. You have... Uh, Versace and other good crystal. Uh, I guess Nina Ricci. They're always good. We're in the lot 1200. So then you finish that room, then you go back and finish this one. So when he does that, okay, so then we come over here. I'm trying to stay in order for day three. So in the early 1200s, we just were. Now we're going into the late 1200s down this aisle right here. So you have sconces, you have plastic lamps. It's called curb, huh? Great chair. Nicely figured molded plywood chair with fancy arms and a great back. 70s collectibles. Look at these. Uh, this is a very, uh, this is a rope edge, right? The, uh, yeah, rope edge. the Eames chair right there. You have the early label. You have the runners that originally I think were put on backwards because we uh, looked at them. The uh, new buyer can switch them around if they want. Um, 
rosewood sets of chairs. Here's a nice little like sheet metal dining set. Here's the table that goes with. So there's the chairs. Look at those legs. That's number 1355. Moving around this side, we're into the 1400s as we go down here. Some good Drexel floor lamps all the way up. Albini, George Nelson, Danish, ebonized, Plattner. This is a nice uh, cut steel. Heavy duty. Very cool all the way around. All the wall art right there, the C. Jair, the uh, B. Behan. There's a B. John, I guess, B. I. J. A. N. Up there, you can't really see it from here. Moving this way, some good chandeliers. Very nice here, the wall hangers, dot number 364. I missed these earlier. They're for day one. Action. We're in the lot 1400s right over here. I'm not going to talk about every item. You have vintage luggage. You have the Hartman luggage, Umanoff bar stools, Herman Miller, more bar stools, Prober. Very nice diptych right here of this oil painting. Two, two oil paintings that go together. Yeah, this is Raymond Lowy. You jump over this direction, the Hollywood sign, a couple knoll womb chairs. Giacometti style lamps. Here are some nice groupings of knoll fabric. We got these, I think, from a, uh, a buyout we did up in near Allentown, and that's where the knoll factories are. Come in this direction. Very cool pallet table. Look at that. Lots of number 1548. We go up to about lot 1600, so we're almost the way there, almost to the end. I guess we go to the almost lot 1700. This pair of Carl Springer lamps. So you get about the gist of it. Check out our website. Bidding online on our website is 25% no matter how you pay. On live auctioneers is 28% no matter how you pay. So you can do a 3% savings by buying on our website and paying with a credit card. All right, so this has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to take another walk over here to the Ponte. Just for one last look at it. All right. So this has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. We'll see you at the auction.